So in all my years watching anime, there's only a few anime villains I can say, damn, this nigga is pure evil. There's like six villains I can think of, and the one we're talking about today is Vicious from Cowboy Bebop. This man is death personified. Every time bro was on screen, someone fucking checked. He'll catch four bodies without trying, then he'll be like, you know what? Hang on two more for y'all. Yeah. That's not even the worst part. You know how most anime villains want like normal shit like world domination or just like a tough fight? Bro didn't have any motives except for causing pain. The first time we see Vicious, he already catching bodies. He been on screen for like less than three minutes. He already got his care package kill streak. Did I mention he got this scary ass bird with him all the time? Like, look, listen, the bird don't move at all. He just sit there and make bird noises. Like, why the fuck is bro there? Apparently he came back for the leadership of the Red Dragon Syndicate. I mean, he say that, but like literally, he just caused havoc the whole time. So after he cooked his former leader, he tried getting back at his old homie Spike. Now listen, I'll be honest. I try getting it back in blood too. Imagine your main bro start clapping your girl cheeks behind your back and trying leaving town with her. And the ad insult to injury, Vicious found out. Shit had bro waking up in the middle of the night. Bro was waking up in cold sweats. He was going through it. I ain't gonna lie, I fell for him. So we already know Vicious about to get this shit back in blood. Bro kidnapped Faith fine ass the loyal Spike, which works, and they had this cool ass fire ass shootout. Shit was like the coolest scene ever. Bro threw Spike out the window like he was Uncle Phil throwing Jazzy Jeff out the fucking house. <laughs> Spike did leave a grenade waiting for him though, that cheeky bastard. Now that bro thinks Spike dead, he start moving them drugs again. Red eye to be exact. Now listen, red eyes like space heroin. That's the best way I can describe it for y'all that don't know. Vicious start moving at work again though. Bro start moving like Franklin Saint from Snowfall. Bro moving crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. He been on, it's only like three episodes and bro already moving crazy. So while my man Vicious moving that space heroin, he was accompanied by some guy named Lynn. Now shout out to my nigga Lynn. That nigga was loyal to the mob. Now let's be real here. It's a Vicious episode right now. We know somebody gotta die. And sadly it was my nigga Lynn. This nigga Nigga Lynn took a bullet for Vicious, and Vicious pretty much told this nigga, Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? In the same episode, it's also revealed he snaked his old community college buddy, Grin. This nigga Vicious lied and said Grim was a spy. So they booked my man, fucked his hormones up by giving him this experimental serums, giving bro some milkers tragic the last two episodes show how fucking brutal this man was he was on trial by the elders for his crimes hashtag free my nigga vicious he ain't do nothing wrong now remember when i said the bird don't do shit well i couldn't be any more wrong the bird came through like lebron in game seven bro had the nigga shooting at him like he was the batman or something but it's a vicious episode and my bird nigga ultimately lost his life he was a solid motherfucker to the end like he's just always in his own world he really quiet for real unless he know you he's funny as hell though but if he know you type shit this distraction gives Vicious a chance to free himself. In doing so, he started to sauce the fuck out of all the people in there. And he poked the elders up, making him the leader now. Now, there's two choices Vicious can make in this moment. A, run a syndicate in a respectful yet stern way. Or B, kill his old friend and his ex. I think we know what choice bro gonna make. He get Julia killed. Hashtag RIP fine ass Julia. Now Spike, man, I don't blame him. Bro smoked his girl in front of him. He finna spin on Vicious now. Spike pull up on Vicious and the whole entire Red Dragon Syndicate. Now Spike moving like Vicious. He starts saucing a whole damn syndicate. These niggas losing a 1v500. Shit crazy. Spike and Vicious finally face off. And after this cold ass monologue, Vicious get packed out. Finally smoking on that Vicious pack. Now, ultimately, I thought this video would have been longer, but he was only in like five episodes, but it goes without saying every episode he was on, someone died. It just shows how devious, how brutal and how destructive this man was. This was the Vicious Era. I am your host, Sir Khalid, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.